All right, it's been a weird <clears throat> last couple of days uh, for us. So um, in our family, uh, we have a little virus going around. Um, so right now, uh, my sister-in-law has it and my wife has it. And so what that means is that until we really know for sure if I'm gonna get it and if other family members are gonna get it, um, we're being kind of discouraged to not go see our baby. And that's really tough um, because any day now he's going to get released. So what if the question, you know, remains, what if we're sick when he gets released and how is that going to affect everything? Um, the other hand is that he actually is now being placed into an isolation um room I guess you can say I was gonna say chamber but it's not an isolation chamber he's not a super villain in a comic book um, but he's now in his separate room and the nurses have to wear gloves and have to be very careful with germs when they're changing him and um, interacting with him because my wife spent the night on Friday and um, she could have been carrying the virus and he could have it or he could have been carrying the virus and giving it to her So now there's all these extra precautions um, What I want to talk about today is This concept of isolation um, Isolation Is a common enough human experience that we all know what it feels like and isolation can be very, very detrimental to people. Um, in some war strategies, war situations, solitary confinement is a form of torture. Um, being left alone with nobody to talk to, being alone. Um, I think it's primarily one of the reasons that the aspect of community is such a big deal in scripture and in Christian circles. Um, I think God understands that we are not meant to be alone. We are not meant to live in isolation. And I think the reason I'm talking about this is because to think of a almost two-month-old baby in an isolation room um, worries me. You know, he needs a lot of contact and he needs a lot of touch and love and comfort Um and I don't know how all of this is going to affect that. Now I have to, now it kind of falls on me to, between work schedules and work shifts, making time to drive down to Seattle. Whereas before, I could rely on my wife to go visit him more. But now she can't because she's got this virus. Um, she'll be gone in a couple weeks, but, you know, he needs to be snuggled now. So he needs to be snuggled now. Um, I'm probably not going to edit that out, by the way. I'm just going to keep rolling. So, now I have to decide what I'm going to do about this, um, about him. For a time, it falls on me to go be with him. But I don't even know, I, I may not still be able to go because I could have the virus even if I'm not showing symptoms. Um, so, we, it has just been really weird the last couple days. We're not exactly sure what to make of it or how it's all going to change. So we're waiting to hear back from the hospital staff on all that. And um, I mean, we'll keep you updated as, as we move along here. But for now, we are hoping and praying that the nurses uh, give him special attention, that he is not alone, that he's not isolated. Uh, and as... It, <clears throat> as every other day we're just waiting to see what happens um, a health update for him he's at 0.06 uh, milligrams of morphine um, so he got moved back up to 0.06 a couple days ago they're probably going to try moving back down tomorrow so um, we are still not sure when he's going to be home I think we've adjusted a little bit I think honestly this virus has allowed us to rest at home and to kind of give ourselves an excuse not to be there every day. Um, my wife, I think, went four days in a row this week and was just absolutely exhausted. Um, 
So while it's a bummer, I think it's good for her to, to be free from that weight for a couple days, um, where she doesn't have to feel like she's a bad mom if she doesn't go, where she doesn't have to feel like a bad person if she's not there. Um, Cause she's not, even if she didn't choose to go one day, she's not bad. We're not bad, we're still in this, we're still on his team, uh, but we have limitations. And I think it's hard to recognize limitations sometimes. So, a little unorthodox this week, a little thrown together. But there you guys go. I will see you on Friday. <laughs>